got back from picking up Melissa. We're going to go down and check out the uh, new trail and the stream crossing. It's not done yet, but uh, it'll be nice. Look at the colors of the leaves are changing. I know. Maples are starting to change pretty quick. Yeah. So what do you think so far? Oh, I'm impressed. Looks nice. nice. Yeah. I don't even know if I need this or not, but... So there you have it. What do you think? So you got these two little streams here come together. I need to fill this in some, make sure the water's going in the pipe. But we're going to end up having, I don't even know, at least another foot okay. of fill. Okay, so that's going to come right over here. Yeah, this will come down. I got some little stumps right there. Move that brush out of the way. And this will be a nice shot right up there to the other trail. Yeah. It'll be good. You know, uh, looking at that mud, I just think of when we were kids and we were playing. We called it a creek. So yeah. I know it's called, say, creek. Is other but, people call it a creek? Yeah, but we called it a creek and we'd play. We had a creek by our house and we'd just play. But that mud makes me think of it. We would make like mounds of, you know, all sorts of things, mud pies and, yeah, pretend. We pretended as kids. They don't do that much anymore. Sadly, no. Sadly, no. But this is really nice uh, section of woods. But look how giant some of these big oak trees are, like yeah, right there. Yeah. And this one right here, they're just massive. Yeah, right. Another one over there. Giant trees. Well, what I'm going to do is get back to work. Okay. And then uh, maybe you could come back down in the sidekick in about an hour. Okay. And pick up all the tools and stuff. And oh, yeah. Clean up. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't take too long for me to finish up. Okay, sounds good. Now I was down here like an hour and a half ago and there's already deer tracks here. They're in here checking out my work. But yeah, this is going to be good.
Everybody does things a little bit different but uh, when I'm doing this kind of work here I try to take my time but just keep moving and you really have to watch what you're doing in here you know you don't want to grab a hold of something and pull a grapevine and pull a tree top down on you or pull a big log or a stick into the cab or even if you're like me you don't want to scratch your machine up so I kind of take my time try to pay attention to what I'm doing and uh, just keep moving and watch everything out in front of you beside you up above you you kind of got to keep your eye on everything because you can be pulling on something right here in front of me and it's connected to something you know 30 feet to my left now I'm making this section in here a little bit wider than a normal trail and uh, because this stuff wants to grow in on you, you know? So if I keep it nice and wide, I'll be able to mow it with the brush hog and keep all that stuff, uh, keep it all at bay. But boy, I can see why the deer like being in here. This is thick, nasty stuff. I will have to set a trail camera up on this trail right here because they'll use it for sure. But this is, uh, this is prime deer habitat right here. And I'm embarrassed to say, I didn't even really know it was like this in here. I haven't, you know, I'm not in this area that often. I go up the orchard quite a bit, but I didn't realize how thick this was right in here. It's extremely thick. Real nice place for the uh, deer to hide, especially piling up this stuff on the sides. This will work out just great. But yeah, this trail went from open woods to... Uh, super thick and about a hundred feet and these piles will kind of rot down a little bit but until there's a tree canopy in here it just keeps uh, it'll keep growing Originally I thought I was going to have, you know, three hours in this, probably be more like five, but that's not too bad. And like I said, if you're trying to do this by hand, it'd be more like five months. I might be exaggerating a little, but you know what I'm saying.
All right, Melissa just came back down. I do have some uh, dressing up to do, obviously, but uh, I got water going in the pipe. Is this for me? Yeah, that's for you. You can plant that up by the house there. Really? <laughs> but I got uh, punched through the whole way up here to the trail that goes to the orchard. I'd say about another half hour, but all my batteries are about dead here. I will... Uh, Warren, you're, you're running out of daylight here with the trees shading you already. I know. You know? But I tell you, this came out really nice. It really did. Yeah. Look how nice that topsoil is. It's just so incredible. Fine and soft. Dry. Mm, smells good. I love it. She likes dirt. I do. Now I went kind of wide up through here because uh, it's going to want to grow in, so I want to okay. be able to, you know, mow wide. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. There's some of that great piney. Oh, I had one. It was 200 feet long. Really? It doubled two of them from that oak tree there. I pulled it the whole way back here. Really? You think Tarzan was here? I think he was. Okay. <laughs> now the only place it gets real narrow is right up in here and I just didn't want to take out any of those trees. Well, what started out as a two or three hour job turned into a four or five, but it's okay. Got a lot done. We're used to that. You did so, good. So you're going to see this video on Friday and I uh, hope to see some of you guys at the Paul Bunyan show on Friday. Yeah. We'll be there. Yeah. Check it out. It's a good show. And, um, yeah, come say hi to us. We appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.